Now that you have installed the Chef development tools and all the other basic tools you need to interact with Chef in previous chapters. You have also learned the different components of Chef's anatomy like the Chef server, different components of Chef server, Chef client, nodes, workstations, etc. from the conceptual point of view. In this chapter, we will learn more about resource, recipe and cookbook. We will perform hands-on exercise using virtual box and will write recipes and cookbooks on our VM. But before we delve more deeply into Chef, let me tell you one thing that Chef is based on Ruby. So you have to know a little bit Ruby to getting started with Chef. If you don't have prior Ruby understanding, you can visit below link and search for just enough Ruby tutorial for Chef to going started with Chef. Now, what does these terms mean? Resource, recipe and cookbook. First is resource. So what is a resource? A resource is a statement of configuration policy that describes the desired state for a configuration item, declares the steps needed to bring that item to the desired state, specifies a resource type such as package, template or service, lists additional details also known as resource properties as necessary are grouped into recipes which describe working configurations. Now let's take an example. In this example, we have declared three resources, a package, a template and a service. In the left hand side, this is the resource syntax. Every resource in Chef is a Ruby block having four different components, a type, a name, one or more properties or attributes and one or more actions. So in this slide, we have three dif different resource types, a package, a template and a service. Each resource will have a name. So in our package resource name of the package is HAProxy. This is the name of the template resource that is slash etc slash HAProxy slash HAProxy.cfg and this is the name of the service resource. Each resource can also have some parameters or attributes. Those are in between the keywords do and end. So the parameters or attributes define some additional details about the resources. Next important component is action. Each resource has its own set of actions that will put the resource to its desired state. Some other properties are sending the notification. The resources can also send notifications to other resources. Another thing I want to tell you about the resources that is all actions have a default value. So only the non-default values of actions or properties need to be specified. For example, a resource that is package that is used to install the tar.gz package for version 1.6.16.1 may look something like this okay so here 
the package resources default action is installed. So if you omit both of the lines that is version 1.16.1 and the action install then also the chef client will install the tar package. So in this case the chef client will assume that the default action is installed and the default property is version 1.6.1 I mean that's the latest version. Now I want to take a little more about this action install. The way shape works is to take the action only if it is required. So when the chef client will see that the package tar, it will first check that the tar.gz is already installed or not. If it is not installed, then it will take the action to bring this resource into policy. If the policy will tell it that it should be installed, then only it will take the action install. Next, the resources are declarative. We say only what we want to happen, not how to do it. We will come more about the resources when we will do our hands-on example in this chapter.